Now, the second method that you can choose uh, to decrease speed, so in other words, the gap between um, the different instructions, uh, is a little bit harder. It requires a bit of your math. So we still need to actually be able to change that value. So we still need to make a variable called speed. And when we start a game, we want to give that speed a default video, a uh, default value. So I'm going to set to a thousand. And of course, that pause needs to be a value of speed, so it's constantly being updated. Now, what we're going to do is instead of actually decreasing speed every time we give them a point, we're going to use that score, and we're actually going to compare that score to something. So I'm going to add another if statement. And that if statement is going to come right after I clear the screen. So I'm going to do a bit of math. And there's a function here called remainder of. Now in computer science, this is called a modulus or mod. And it's a really, really useful bit of math to know. Basically, instead of dividing it and getting a whole number, you just get whatever bit is left over. So I'm going to use that block and I'm going to do some comparison to it. So if the remainder of our score is, well, actually, let's do a little bit of thinking. So if the remainder of score divided by 3 equals 0, what does that actually tell us? Hmm. Well, if I can divide 3 evenly into scores, then it, there's nothing left over. So this means that every time score uh, can be divided by 3, so in other words, every 3 levels, then the remainder is going to be 0. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, etc. So if that's a true statement now, uh, so if 3 evenly divides into 0, then we're going to change that variable. And we're going to decrease it. And since it's only happening every 3 levels, we're going to make it quite a big change. So I'm going to set it to, say, negative 150. So it's quite noticeable. Or I might even do, say, negative 300. So it's going to get quite fast. So if I play my game, you'll see it'll only get faster every three levels. So I'm up to two. And when I get to that three, you should see that it's going to start to get a lot faster in how it cycles through. So every three levels, it's going to get faster. So if I get to six, uh, it's going to get slower and slower still. So just got to make sure I've got my... Uh, my reaction time down pat. Don't want to have my score reset to zero. There you go. So it's six. Uh, so you'll start to see it's really flipping through. And if you misclick, well, then your score is going to be set to zero. And so if your score is set to zero, well, our speed is still really fast. So every time you want to set it to your score to zero, you just have to remember to reset the, uh, the value of your speed back up to your original starting value. Otherwise, your program uh, is just going to, it's not going to work very well because if you lose, it's still be go going to be going super quick.